hair today because I'm too lazy to use a blow dryer. But that's besides the point. If you notice, I am in my old room. You can see my back up there. I am home for the past two weeks. Today I'm gonna be watching Super Nanny. If any of you guys remember, it was a show from the early 2000s, like 2004, 2008. Where are you? where this very British woman would come into American households and try to teach their children to have manners. These kids were unhinged. There's this, like viral video going around right now that the guy's like, I want my bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. That is from Super Nanny. It wasn't. So I'm gonna be looking at a compilation of the top five most memorable moments from Super Nanny. Okay, so this is an 11 year old girl who has access to the internet. Mind you, this is 2005, so she's got like a giant desktop computer. It's not a laptop or whatever. Probably the whole family uses it. Although it looks like it's in her room. I'm not gonna do anything. Obviously, Lexi had something to hide because she didn't want to give her password to her dad. Go. But it was a losing battle. She relented. Who are those boys? Go to a view. Yeah, well, at least I'm not like you. With you, Lexi. Like Jessica. Such I'm language. just a Well, you guys don't, I don't like that language. Oh my gosh. This little girl is like, oh, what's her name? Bad Bobby or whatever it is, like on Dr. Phil. Dang. And the way that she's talking to her sister too. I mean, I don't have a sister, so maybe that's how you talk to sisters. But that seems disrespectful. I mean, this is serious stuff. I'm, for... I'm not a to be missed with I'm going to kill both of you. And I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. She's an 11 year old girl chatting with much older boys. That's terrifying. I'm actually glad that they found this on her computer, that she's like talking to older guys online. Okay, not gonna lie, but I feel like when I was younger, you know, my friends and I, we would go into like chat rooms or stuff like that, but it's so bad. It's so bad, like you should really not do that. And anyone, if you are the age of 11 watching this, do not do that, it's so dangerous. What, I mean, is this just a saying? Yes. Well, how do I know? I mean, this is serious stuff. This goes to the next Scroll level. Down and view their friends. Why is the dad being so chill about this? I would be like yanking that computer out of the wall. This is serious and he's just like, well, what's the serious stuff? Like you need to have a little bit more oomph than that. So mom gets home, and she barely has any time to check in with dad. Lexi, go on the computer, show your mom everything that's on it. Before he goes off to work. And there it was. Ah! Okay, why did that man just walk away like that? He's just like, yeah, show your mom what's on the computer. She's not gonna do that. If I was 11 in that position, why would I wanna get in trouble with my mom? Because the dad looks like he doesn't care at all. Okay, do me a favor, slow down so I know what you're doing. My parents are completely clueless. Of the computer. Is this your space right now? Okay. So who are all these people? People that you know? Growing up, we didn't have computers, so it you know, I, I don't really understand it. And this guy's 17. This reminds me of when uh you know, <laughs> you know when you show your parents a viral video and they're like, Oh, who is this? Like like they think you know them. Like it's a video of a friend or something. Like that's just, this is kind of giving this. It's like, well, I don't know the internet. So I, if I saw a picture of an older guy on my 11 year old's computer, I think I might be a little, I might have a little bit more to say than I don't know how the internet works. Well, that was insane. When it said memorable moments, I was expecting like child tantrums. I was not expecting this 11 year old talking to 17 year olds on the internet. Yike, 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 yike. Danger, stranger danger, okay? Guys, don't, don't talk to old people on the internet. It's not, that was mean. Don't talk to older people on the internet. I'm looking for the tantrums, where are the tantrums? This one, the mom is having a disagreement with the kid about like her eating candy or something after not doing her homework. So let's see, this one might be relatable. I feel like I probably have done this. You're not eating candy now. It's mine, I got it for a swap. That's nice, but you're still not eating candy. It's my swap. It's irrelevant, Kayla, you're not eating. Kayla. Listen to me, you're not eating sugar now, and that's I that. I'm just trying to take the bread off, oh my God. You just leave me alone. Not right now. So that's quite typical, is it? To get the sassy mouth from All Kayla. The All the time. One jump scare, this woman is like always lurking. Um, but I have to say that if I had Super Nanny in my home, the way that I would turn into an angel, right? I would completely gaslight my parents. I would act like the best child that's ever existed. And then as soon as they left, I would turn into the demon that I am. Uh, I wasn't a bad kid, kind of. Hello. 
Can you do a little homework? Just maybe mm -hmm. a little bit? Cause nine like, o'clock. At nine o'clock, why? What, it's, it's 8.40. What, what is happening between now and eight and nine o'clock? That you can't do homework? I want to rest. You always want rest. You're finding an excuse. Stop rating the boy, I feel that. I want to rest. Yeah. Yeah, I want to rest. Also, it's just a thing. You have to start any task on a 30 or like a zero, right? 8.30, nine o'clock, right? 8.40 is not the time you start your tasks. It's just the rules. After watching these kids treat their mom like a doormat and negotiate at what time they were gonna do their homework, I thought to myself, at what point is dad going to step in? But he didn't. If you only have five problems, we can just Pound those out fast and you'll be off the hook. Okay, I, I've watched enough of this episode. It's not that crazy. How is this most memorable moments? I mean, I'm, I'm looking still. I'm looking for the kid who throws a micro wave out the window. Which I've warmed in the micro wave. That's the way the British say it. Not how I say it. But, I mean, I understand these parents. They're just too chill for their own good. They're like, she gets the homework done, she doesn't. Doesn't matter us. I hate to say it, I feel like that would be me. I'd be like, okay, you don't wanna get it done? Okay, you could fail out of school. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, I would be like, whatever. <gasps> Let's go to the next one. Okay, so in this one's a little different. The kids just like have too much to do, it seems like. I'm not sure, because usually the issue is like, the kids don't help it at all. So let's see what's going on here. Dishwasher. Me. Breakfast. Me. Okay, laundry. Mom. Fold clothes. Yeah, it's everyone. I'll, yeah. <clears throat> everyone. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah. Right, let's go. Mom, Mom and Dad have a notable disagreement on that one, but that's okay. I don't think they have good communication with their father. They are in fear of his reaction. You don't agree? You fold the clothes though, right? Yeah. I will stand up to my parents, and Brittany is more afraid to stand up to my parents. Give me your argument. Why do you feel you fold the clothes more? Because I have been doing it more lately. What's lately? The very last time laundry was done? No. She does it all the time when you guys are gone. Oh, it's not... boy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an interesting one. This, it sounds like one of the girls called Super Nanny on their parents. And we're like, these parents are giving us way too much to do. And I feel like they're not treating us well, which is interesting because like the kids are actually really mature in this situation. Just as I was going over the chores, I saw that Brittany looked a little pale, a little faint. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Fritz, Brittany, Fritz, call 911. She just passed out. Oh my God, she fainted. That's insane. I wonder if they staged that. I mean, I doubt, maybe, but that's crazy. Okay, this next one is what I'm looking for. All right, this is a, guy, a kid screaming. He's, he's a little kid, he looks like four, and apparently he is just getting crazy. Family sat down to play a game, and it became very clear to me who was calling all the shots. If Zachary loses, then the whole house is gonna start to fall down. Okay, but I feel that, I'm Zachary, like, if I lose, then no one has a good day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually a really, I'm a really graceful loser. Um, I'd like to think. They have to let Zach win. Otherwise, who knows what he'll turn into. Gentle. Yeah. Gentle. If you're not going to do it gentle, then I don't need your help. It's like a little robot. Uh -huh. That's one word to call him. <laughs> Okay, that kid is insane. Um, but also, I had, had did anyone realize how the super nanny said otherwise? She went otherwise. Otherwise. I think, I think that's the British accent that I do when I try to do a British accent. I'm like, oh, it's, it's like I call it the Adele. It sort of sounds like this. And the super nanny has it a little bit. Uh, all right, let's see what happens to Zach. Then I got to see exactly what happens when mum dares to give Kaya any attention. He's very jealous of her. What? I see you. So everything I do to her, he wants me to do to him. His anger towards her is getting much worse. What do you want me to do to you? <laughs> Mum picked Zachary up and then all was forgiven and forgotten. The more and more I watch this, I'm like, hot diggity dog. I don't want kids. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, 
someone who can't control their emotions screaming and vying for your attention at all times of the day, it sounds like torture. But Zach wasn't through being center of attention. It's not just Kaya. It's not just Kaya. Sorry. That has to tippy toe around Zach. The other girls do as well. Girls, you guys wanna go outside? Okay, do it without him seeing them. If he sees them go, yeah. he'll wanna go. Right. And yet again, she was making the older girls pander to Zachary so that he wouldn't see and have a temper tantrum. This is like such a classic boy mom scenario. I feel like she just kind of gave in to everything that he wanted and now he's so used to being, you know, like the baby of the family. So now that he has a younger sibling, he doesn't know how to deal with it. See, I don't see this as a memorable moment of the show. I, I'm i expecting like full on scream battles and I haven't seen it so far. Okay, so I needed to have this in this video. This is just such an iconic video. We, we all need to watch this together. I need you guys to help me in the kitchen to fill these. We can do I it. I don't like this crap. Definitely no cheese in the can. <laughs> Very happy to be this throwing this away. It's bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. This is very good. You're gonna be going to the grocery store. <laughs> no, I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. Uh, that haircut is reminds me of the guy from Monster House. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but he just reminds me of the little kid from Monster House. She thinks at the blue she's a smart little girl that she can do whatever she wants. No, that's not how she can do it in our family. She's at like she's the queen and we're the sorry people. Okay, children like this terrify me, the ones that act like they're so entitled. Like, they're like, I know everything. Ah, they drive me crazy, they drive me crazy because you can't reason with them, you know? They like, make you feel stupid. You're like, ah! Actually, do you know when Edward Cullen died and became a vampire? And do you know he... Joy, I have been nice to you, but now I'm coming to the edge. I promise you one thing, okay? If you do not have at least one food that you like, I will buy you a piece of junk. Is that a deal? No, I keep losing at deals, and I don't want to make a deal anymore. I am leaving, and you can't stop me. I'm packing my bags. And a very, very calm day into this. Oh, both in the road comes, and she be sarcastic. I I love this kid. This kid is like an adult in a, a human human form, in like a little boy form. It's so funny. And that girl was being a girl. That woman was being very reasonable. Uh, honestly, I've seen some moms on this show that are like, oh oh, I guess this is. Oh my god, I just realized this isn't Super Nanny. This is White Swap. We'll do that in the next reaction video. Anyway, we'll finish watching this. Curtis. I won't be coming back until Saturday when you leave. She's gonna try to stop me, but she can't run in those little high heels. Never see this face again. This this boy is iconic, and I hope he's doing well today. Well, after that, I'll definitely don't want to have kids. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have anything else you want me to react to, let me know in the comments. And also, you gotta subscribe. The super nanny says you gotta do it. Sorry. All right, bye guys.